What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. Guys. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the FW22 collection from Stone Island and also from CP Company. Aphrodite 1994 sent us a whole bunch of Stone Island items and CP Company items for us to check out the new FW22 collection. Right, so first things first, we got this Stone Island picnic corduroy overshirt. I know CP Company done quite a few of these a couple of years ago, but I've noticed that this kind of corduroy look has been prominent within CP Company and Stone Island as of late, and this seems to be their latest version. Now, one thing I would say I've noticed about Stone Island is there's more items that don't have the badge. So, for example, this Stone Island, uh, Island this <laughs> this Stone Island overshirt doesn't have the badge. You can just see very subtly here, it says Stone Island, and you've got the little kind of button here. But aside from that, nothing else lets the user, lets the... Nothing else lets the wearer know that this is a Stone Island. Some people love it like that. Personally, I don't mind it myself, but I do wish they had the two buttons on the arm. So even if I wanted to take the badge off, you can still see the two buttons. But aside from that, I think this is a really nice, comfortable piece. This one is actually size large. And as I said, it's part of the recent FW22 collection made from 100% cotton. If you look at the collar and the detail on there, it's, it looks very, very well made indeed. So the next piece that was sent to me by Aphrodite 1994 is this half zip sweater. The quality of this one feels really nice and sturdy. Got the thick YKK zippers, super soft material, 100% cotton. I already have something similar to this in a half zip in the same color. And I, I've been collecting this color for quite some time. So if you look at the really nice detail going all the way through, personally, I think this one from Stone Island is not too bad actually. Right, the next ones that we have in are some overshirt from CP Company. Sucker like Ox blood red color. You've got the CP Company badge on the arm with a little pocket on there and a nice little button. This is really nice. The weight is really, really light. This will be great as we're moving into the autumn time where things are starting to get a little bit cooler because it is mad hot at the moment. Like I am sweating, it is crazy hot. The next piece that we got here is this CP Company Garbadine overshirt. What I liked about this one is the material on it feels really nice. Yeah, overall, I feel like this is a really nice overshirt by CP Company. Again, the color is really nice and I feel like for the autumn time, this one could be a really nice fit with the right fits to go with it. Right, moving on to the t-shirt. Now, the first t-shirt we got here is from Stone Island and the second one here we got is from CP Company. Now, the CP Company one actually feels a little bit better to me. Surprise, surprise. It feels really nice, really good weight to it, a little bit more thick. And I just feel like there's a little bit more detail going on on the inside. It just feels really thick as well, which I kind of like, even though it's mad hot. But the Stone Island one does feel nice. It does feel cool. Not as much as detail as the CP Company, but we've also got this crazy print on the back, which I have seen a lot more of from Stone Island. It's something that could be a little bit different from some of you guys. But personally, I prefer the CP Company with the black and it's got the kind of like Metropolis series style logo that you can see at the front and both of these guys are in a size large, okay? This is actually called the CP Company Metropolis Half Zip Sweater, which I must say, do you know what? This is really nice. It's meant to have that kind of everyday functionality. So it's just basically a different collection from CP Company. But how you know is they usually have this little badge that you can see right here and they would have that instead of the normal Oculus. The construction and detail on this is really nice. So if you have a look, through. You can see there's lots of nice finishing and detail on this one. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like CP Company have been stepping it up and up and up. And I feel like a lot of people feel like CP Companies, even as a pass in Stone Island in a lot of areas. And I feel like people think that CP Company is staying very true to their brand currently. Overall, this is one of my favorite items from this collection so far. But yeah, that, that one's really, really nice. But guys, they are doing a crazy sell at the moment, so you can go and check it out. I've got loads of links in the description box below. And in 
In fact, in India, all of these items here are from Aphrodite. So a big shout to them for sending this stuff over to do a quick review. So moving on to a monster of a piece, Propolis series. AAAC hooded down jacket. Now it's a medium weight garment dyed advanced adhesive construction down jacket. Now again, CP Company coming up with some crazy names for their collection, but it is part of the Metropolis series collection. It has an adjustable hood and a detachable lining on the inside, which is really nice and really kind of gives the jacket a nice kind of weight and composition to it. Now the jacket also features a full zip fastening. It's got zip side pockets, a logo badge, and a secure chest pocket. If you look at the front here, you should be able to see, there we go, you've got the CP Company Metropolis badge and this is also removable so that can come off as well. I feel like this jacket could potentially be waterproof at the seams. If you look at the detail in the hood, you can see the hood has got this really kind of nice knit finish there. You can even see where it says CP Company there on the front and overall this is a very serious jacket. If you see you got a little pull cord on the hood so you can tighten it up and you can make that a little bit a little bit more tight. The inside of the hood is not removable so you can't take that knitting off but to be honest with you I really like it so I don't mind. The lining though on the inside of the jacket can come off if you don't want that. This actually reminds me of the Stone Island Tank Shield Ghost Jacket Collection which is available in black, grey and white. I've had all three of those but unfortunately I did sell them but this very much reminds me of those jackets. It's really good to see that one there in the collection. Now moving on to this monster piece from Stone Island Shadow Projects. Now remember the Shadow Projects is a collaboration with the German based brand called Acronym. Now I think when they first started their collaboration I didn't think they thought it was going to be something that was going to be a, co a consistent collection all throughout the years but Shadow Projects is still here going strong. But this is an insane jacket indeed. It's known as a glass poplin double face print jacket and it's in an emerald green colour. Now this is an absolutely exclusive standout piece from Stone Island and it's been designed in a vibrant green colourway and the jacket was also made in Italy. Crafted from a blend of cotton and polyfurane resin to help improve the comfort and functionality of this piece. Removable gilet vest which comes on the inside of the jacket but if you feel the material it feels really really nice. I don't know how wearable or functional this jacket is for everyday use. I feel like this jacket is more one of those kind of special pieces that you just whip out if something special is about to happen. I don't know maybe you're just going to the pub or maybe you're just going to a festival. Would you wear this at a festival? Probably not. Okay maybe on a first date. Do you think a girl would like this jacket on a first date? I have no idea but either way I do think it's a special piece. Crazy price though at price at 1700 with the outer shell and with the inner, inner gilet as well but I think I have seen them go for about 900 or maybe 1100 without the gilet on the inside. Overall it does feel like a very special kind of collector's jacket and I don't think I would see too many people with this um, jacket with it being quite exclusive. Patch on the inside but it'll throw off buckles when it gets too hot you can just throw it back on onto the back and it will just hang off you but yeah it feels really really nice very very nice piece that one but also let me know what jackets you think were really cool remember all the items are available from aphrodite 1994 guys if you like anything in this video go down and check the link in the description box below aphrodite 1994 are doing a sale which is happening right now so you can also check that out too okay guys peace